Hello, uh, my name is Carlos. I uh, have an avocado growth in Homestead, Florida. And today what I want to do is graft this piece of cyan wood from a variety called Oro Negro, which is kind of a new variety that has been coming around. The reason I'm doing that is because uh, there is a bug coming that supposedly will affect the avocado industry in Day County. But anything, any avocado that has a watermelon or Mexican genes in it will be more resistant. This has uh, Mexican genes in it, Oro Negro. And I'm going to uh, graft it onto this seedling that I have here uh, that's very strong and, and healthy. Uh, first, what I like to do is, since I only have one piece, I only have one tree, so uh, the tree was kind of weak, so I only wanted, I, would, I only was able to take one piece. I'm going to cover the top part of it with parafilm, which will help retain the humidity in it. Uh, this is like a waxy film. I'm going to uh, cut a piece and wrap. I should have some scissors in here, but I don't. So I'm going to cut it with these. So you see, it's like a waxy film that comes with a backing of paper. And what you want to do is you just want to, you don't want to put a lot, you just want to put the top part, the top part, start maybe like here, stretch it a bit, so you don't have a very strong, cover this butt right here, Just tighten it a bit, and wrap it wrap it all around and when you get to like the top part just stretch it and do like a little twist now your uh, budwood is uh, protected uh, from the humidity I'm doing this in the um, middle of April so it gets pretty hot here in Florida and you want this to succeed normally uh, if I had 10 of these and 20 of these I would go and not do this but since I only have one piece, I want to make it stick. Then what we need to do next is try to find an, a, a match because we're going to be doing a cleft graft. We want to find a piece of this uh, tree that would about be the same size. So I think I have identified one piece up here. So what we need to do is cut these leaves here. I'm going to leave these here because I think they'll, they serve a purpose to keep the tree alive and flowing. And I'm going to cut it to a lot here. Well, and I'm going to make this a little bit nicer. Cut this. This is a tool I use which is kind of really nice. It comes from a surgical company. If I get a chance, I'll post it somewhere in this video, the name of it. Okay. So what we want to do is cut this trunk right in the middle and make an equal size. Now what I like to do is I like to hold the knife with, both, with one hand and the other one and just put apply steady pressure until you split it. See? Going to do a now. similar cut on this side. You want to make it sharp so it will go into that wedge that you are kind of cutting. Ideally it should be done on one but this piece of cyan wood it's for some reason it's very hard. Just be careful with your finger. 
See, there is a black piece of something here that I really don't like, and I'm going to try to shave that off. There. Now I got it exactly how I want it. Here, just pass it a little bit to where there is some resistance. And then I would take okay, and wrap it with these. Or you could take a piece of plastic. I usually like to use this white plastic. because it's very stretchable. Make sure this is even and the edges don't come out. Keep holding it with your finger as you wrap it around. Keep wrapping until you go into the piece of cyan wood. Make it very tight. Very tight. Go up. Go back down again. Mm -hmm. Now you are done. And put a nut in it. And you're done. I will try to show up the progress of this graft within the next few weeks. I will check it in about three weeks. I will cut open, if it has not started to move, the top of the parafilm. But in the meantime, we're going to put it in a shady location now, and we'll wait to see uh, what nature does with it. Uh, this is a very good tool uh, that I was mentioning to you about. Sometimes you could spend a lot of money uh, with a grafting knife, and this is called the Sheffield. It's made in Sheffield, England by a company that does surgical blades. The beauty of it is that you get like 15 blades for um, 15, uh, 50 blades, 50 blades for $15, and this tool costs like five, so instead of spending $50, $60, $20 for a grafting a blade, uh, you have this, it's disposal, it's very clean, and it's retractable, so you can protect the blade and your fingers while you're working.